Okay, so this is Blythe. This is who I built the short bow for. So she's going to take a few shots with it and uh, see how she likes it. I've already kind of given her instruction on shooting, really basic. She will have to get better. She's a novice, but uh, she's just anxious to give it a try. So she knows the knock feather goes out. She knows it goes on the rest and she knows to point at the target and shoot. And these are arrows I built for her. I had to use a little bit of a subgrade glue on the tips so the tips may come off, but everything else should be just stellar. They're spined for this bow. So they should shoot straight to the target where she's aiming. Go ahead. Hit the target. Awesome. Let's see her second shot. Now she adjusts. That was her first shot out of this bow ever. And she came within range at 10 yards from her target. Is it shooting a bit too high? High and to the left? Or is... Um... Yeah. High and to the left. Okay, so what you need to do is counter that by, on your next shot, there's another one in there. Instead of aiming with the bow, trying to look down the arrow, just try and let your... Aim with your eye and just try to move... You know, and just try to let the bow go where your eye's shooting and let go of the target. It's called instinctive shooting. Oops. Better. Now that was an extra heavy tip, so it was a different weight. This one should shoot better for you. That was a, that was a special arrow made for shooting at stumps so it doesn't break. Mm -hmm. These are all wooden. That one has a, a metal sheath on the front to protect it from breaking. Mm -hmm. So that's one, if you're going to go out in the woods and play, you use it. Awesome shot. Awesome shot. Alright, retrieve your arrow. There's one more behind the target. I'll get that one. One of mine went there too from before. Nice. You want me to get that for you? The trick with these is you grab them firmly, you roll your fingers to the first knuckle, then place your thumb and pull straight back with your shoulder. Don't try and use your hand. Oh yeah. Today or before? Yesterday. Yesterday. Alright. Oh yeah. Cool. We'll try a couple more shots now that you know what you're aiming at. I'm going to take this pine cone and I'm going to wedge it in right here. Now that pine cone is what we're going to shoot for. Now I haven't done any aiming with my bow either. So we're going to do a game where you take a shot, I take a shot, you take a shot, I take a shot. And we're each going to shoot three arrows. Now that put the, oh, yeah, that put that one back in your quiver, and then we'll stick with these three. And this is called field shoot. And basically, each person gets three shots. The closest to the target wins. And in real field shooting, you have a scoring system, but we're not playing that game. We're just seeing who comes closest from the same spot. Okay. And all just to even things up, I'll shoot from two steps back. Okay. So you get to go first, young lady. And remember, adjust your shot. It may not necessarily go where you aim, but your bow will adjust. Okay. Your eye should adjust for your bow as you go. So. Nice. Not bad. Paul's turn. That's a good step shot. back, step back, honey. Oh, you're closer than I am. Take your second shot. You're winning so far. Now neither of us have shot these bows before, so they're both new to both of us, so we'll see who's the better shooter. By the third shot, one of us should get close. Oops. A little high. A little closer, but still not perfect. Okay, Blythe. Oh, a little low. All right, so so far you're the closest. You're only up by a couple inches. Let's see if I can beat that. My last shot. No way. Yeah. You won that round. Yeah. That's fine. All right, let's gather our arrows. I always like to leave my bowl behind when I gather my arrows. Just so I can put hands free. But...
Now, Blythe, I'd like you to put an apple on your head and stand up against the target. Oh. Well, I'm just going to shoot. I'm going to take a shot, too. What? I'm going to take a shot at the apple. No. No? No. Pourquoi? It does. Now, keep in mind, Blythe is coming within a few inches of the target, but the ideal plan is to become consistent. You want to be able to shoot from whatever yardage you're shooting at consistently within a five to eight inch circle. Um, if you can do that, then you're very accurate with your shots. Go again. So you hit that made corn. Stand for chopper time. Nice little zing to that bow, isn't it? Mm. Shot. Now in normal field uh, shooting, you get three shots and the next person takes three shots. Okay. But uh, I just think it's funner to mix it up like this. Okay. Oops. Nope, way out. Your turn. Oh gosh. <laughs> Do I get points for getting closest to, oh. my, to my last arrow? A little high, but I'm in line with it. The other thing we haven't done on these bows yet is we haven't added a guide reference point. We use a bow square to do that. We'll do that when we go back up to the house. Okay. Oh. So neither one of us. I think I came the closest that time though. So we're tied, one up. We need a round breaker. Okay. Let's gather our arrows and do the decider. Boy, shoot now, shoot now. Oh, he had his chance. He was standing right there. Just kidding. Maybe. Now, the other thing with this, these are primitive bows, and the arrows make a big difference. And as you shoot with them, you do get better. If you're very green at shooting, but after you've shot probably 100 to 200 shots out of this particular bow, your eye will just know where to shoot. So, and you, now you're not aiming with the arrow tip, are you? Yeah. Okay, perfect. You're just sort of looking at a spot and then yeah. trying to hit it without using the arrow tip? Perfect. That's how you want to learn to shoot because it's the most accurate, except for Olympic shooting. Okay. Go, boy. And don't hit the camera. Shoot more. Oh, See? She's pretty good. She's within a foot of her target every time, so she's going to be a good shot when she gets the hang of it, or the hang of that bow. And every bow is different. Just when you get good with this bow, doesn't mean you're good with the next bow because every bow shoots a little different, okay. especially when you're talking <laughs> primitive bows. Yeah, I almost hit your arrow. <laughs> At least we're both off by the same, eh? At least we're both shooting off by the same. Yeah. Ooh. All right, let's try a quick shot here. Nope, too low. very consistently off and high. So, so what you need to do in your next round, do you see how you're aiming now and you're consistently up? Yeah. Just adjust your aim a little bit lower and to the, to the right. right. Yeah. See how my last shot was a little bit down and to the right? Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to aim a little bit up and to the left. <laughs> a little too much up and to the left. So on that one, I'd say we're fairly tied. Both of us are way out to lunch. Yeah. We're getting worse as we shoot. <laughs> Oh, God. Nope, nope. You're pulling down on an angle, you'll break it. You have to come out straight. I'm not tall enough for that yet. I know, that's right. I'll get the tall ones. Okay. Ideally, when you're at home, you'll probably have a, a hay bale or something, and you'll be shooting in the backyard at, at the proper height for yourself. Okay. 
We'll see you later. This has been Paul and Blythe shooting. Have a good day. There we go. We're just about to run out of battery too. Yeah, I figure they only last 20 minutes. That's the only oh, thing about those ones. Oh, the oh no, that's, sucks. that's the flash thing off. Yeah, they were